Okay, so I'm going to answer some of the homework questions. The first one being 754, which is a word problem. Um, Mr. McDonald's farm here. Um, you know that he has 120 feet of fencing. And then you also know that um, the corral using fencing for three sides of the barn, and then and the barn is the four side. So, um, and then it asks you to, so we need three sides. It's going to form a rectangle. And the four side will be the barn. And then the last part of this is we need to maximize the area. So um, you got to go through your steps here, and I know it might seem tedious, but it's going to help me um, assess what you know and don't know, so it can give you partial understanding. It can only help you. So first step is to draw a picture. Um, so our diagram will look something like this. You know that... Um, let's go ahead and give this a color. So we're going to have... One side, second side, and a third side. And this fourth side is going to be like the barn. So we can call this the barn. And then in here is the actual corral where the animals are. Okay. Um, all right, so the first step is to draw our diagram. Second step is to define variables. So ID your variables. So if it's a rectangle, we know that we have a length, L for length, and W is our width. Um, we we'll also know that we're going to be able to figure out our perimeter here. Our P is going to be our perimeter, or the fence used. And then A is going to equal our area. Now. After I identify my variables, three is to um, make some equations that relate the variables. So we need to relate the variables. So now we can take the length and the width and do different things with them. I think it might help first to go up and look at the corral and say that, let's say this is our length, which means this is our length and this is our width. So if that is the case, um, our perimeter will equal two lengths plus a width. And we know that a perimeter will be 120 is the fence used equals our two lengths plus our width. So that's the total fence post used. And then we also know that area will be length times width. So that's our third step. Our fourth step is to ID the variable we need to solve. And we are trying to maximize area And the fifth step is going to be using substitution. So if you look at our equations, the two equations we have constructed that are going to be helpful are these two. Oops. 120 for our perimeter, and then the area formula. Now if we use substitution here, we're going to use it on this first equation. So it's probably easiest to get W alone. So if we do 120 equals 2L plus W, we can subtract 2, 2L, subtract 2L, this cancels. You get 120 minus 2L equals W. Great. This is W. Now once we have W, we can substitute that in to our new equation. Right down here to express everything in terms of L. So area equals length times parentheses 120 minus 2L. Distribute the L to both. We get area equals negative 2L squared plus 120. And this is my formula, area formula. Now knowing that, you're going to type this formula into your calculator. And what you're going to get 
and you can already probably visualize it, is you're going to get a parabola that opens down because of the negative here. Um, and you got to find the vertex. So if you use the TI-84, or if you even, you could just probably find the vertex, negative B over 2A. If you do that, you end up finding that um, this point right here is going to be 60. And if you plug that in, excuse me, I made a quick mistake. This should be L, and it's not 60. Your vertex isn't 60, it's 30. So it's 30, and if you solve this in your calculator, um, and you put in 30, you'll get 1800 as your area. So if you look at this, this is X and Y, but what this actually represents is this is L and this is A. So your total area is 1800 and your length is 30. Now it's asking us to find the dimensions. So if we know that our length is 30, then we can go back, plug 30 into our equation, and figure out if we plug in 30 here, subtract it, oops, 30 for our L. I'll just do it up here, 120 minus 2 times 30, you get 120 minus 60, so 60 is our width. So your final dimensions here that maximize the area that give you the top of that point is a 30 feet by 60 feet pin or a rectangle. So please use those steps, work along the way, it'll help you keep it straight. Alright, so that's 54.